Hello everybody and welcome back to our Stellaris Nemesis DLC and the 3.0 update. Let's play. So, picking up right where we left off at the end of the last episode. As per usual, I have gone through, done most, if not, I think all actually, um, of our planetary work. Nothing major to report there. Just continue to help blow out the alloys. Did a little bit with consumer goods, but again, I, I think I said this last episode, not too terribly worried about that. And apologies, there has been a decent chunk of days in between this episode and the previous episode of the series. So apologies for that. Uh, life kind of got in the way uh, for recording this series. So what are we going to be up to in this episode? Well, last episode, I asked you all, who is the bigger threat? The Star Church down here or the Keepers of Ave Bren? And most of you said the Star Church is actually our biggest threat. So we are going to treat them as such. And that is probably going to be the next war that we have. Now, something I noticed, and I think I mentioned it in the last episode, these other empires, same color as this guy, which leads me to believe that they're in a federation with them. Only problem is when we come in here, it doesn't show that. I noticed this. We only have secondhand intel on their diplomatic packs. That tells me we don't have enough of a network to know if they are in a federation or not. So, we are going to run a info or intel gathering off. Hopefully get more information on that. Um, they're equivalent right now, which isn't ideal, but I don't know where the rest of their fleets are. So, oh. What we may try to do here, uh, we want to upgrade you, but I want to drop a listening post. Just to see, just to see if we can get a little bit more in here, because currently we can see into this system, but I'd like to see further, I think, uh, is what that is going to do. Uh, Space Amoeba is there. Uh, the other thing we've got going on is this science ship is coming and researching the debris from the war that we just got out of. Uh, with the Ender Consciousness. And then, the reason we fought the war, it's gonna come down here and explore these natural wormholes, which, the more and the more I think about it, I am very worried that this is literally just going to connect to, like, one of these and vice versa. So, we'll see how that goes. But, without further ado, let's get this, uh, game unpaused and get rolling here. We've got our ships upgrading here, which is kinda stupid. To be perfectly frank, um, two shipyards, two, and we're upgrading a lot, a lot of, a lot of ships. So we could do this quicker somewhere else, but, but I think we're just going to leave it here. We're not in a hurry. I guess in theory, moving them out to say quiet, dark and reinforcing uh, would almost be as effective. They've got three shipyards, though, so really, we're gaining a little bit of efficiency, uh, but not very much. Alright, civilian fabricators are done. Cannons advanced space station. 93 months. Ooh, nope, not right now. Um, let's just get the extra housing, I guess. That'll be fine. Humans? Damn, nope. Okay. So, the frequency that that, uh, slavery pop-up has been coming up has slowly decreased. And the amount of time that there actually is a human slave to be purchased has also tend to, tended to decrease. Okay, yeah, let's upgrade you. Uh, do I have the crystals? I do. Yes. Okay, we will need to get more crystals being produced. But for now, that's going to have to be okay. And maybe I'm just not getting to it as quick as I was, uh, which is a distinct possibility. Uh, but yeah, we haven't been lucking out on that. And let's let's think about our plans with the Star Church. I don't know if we want to take territory from them, um, but we are equivalent. Yep, there it is right there. We got enough intel on them. So they are part of a federation with the Geroid Principality, the Hathcom Blessed Order, and the Killick Cooperative. Pause. Yeah, that, anyways. Um, and we don't really have intel on these guys. 
Yeah. So, being these three empires, I do agree with you guys in the comments that this is going to be the biggest threat to us. Um, did I already check you? I did. The Keepers of Ave Bren is interesting, though. They have a defensive pact, if I can pull it here. They've got a defensive pact with the Sildor State. And the Sildor State has all of this territory, and presumably all of this. And they've expanded over here. So they're pretty, pretty chunky. Um, if we had more envoys, I would send someone over here to gather intel. But unfortunately, we've only got the two. Uh, migration broke. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. All right, you know what? We're going to move all the fleet over to Quiet Dark. And then we're going to upgrade there. I don't know why... We just got done upgrading, and it says we need more upgrades. Unless we picked up a tech? In the middle of all this, there's our Particle Lance battleship. See, just a housing plus one. Um, engineering research plus 20%. Mega cannons. Or flak artillery. Go with armor torpedoes. Uh, and we are voting on... Minor economic sanctions. I'm going to oppose that. Yeah, the Star Church, man. We need to go punch them in the face. Uh, Xeno Awareness, blah, 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 blah. That's fine. Two out. Reinforcements. Very good. Yeah, I don't like seeing that alloy number dropping. Not at all. Let's get you built. Uh, we're back in the positive for consumer goods, which is great. Okay, cool. Alright, we finished. Ah, that's the plus 30 naval cap. That's why we we're up like that. We could get 30 more naval cap. Um, Gene Mod. Actually, I think might be the way to go here. Yep, let's do that. We'll get plus one points. We can make ourselves better. Alright, all you. Grade, please. Right, we can now exploit that resource, which means I think we have one somewhere up here. Maybe not. All right, artisan output plus 10%. Yes. And we have gone negative on rare crystals. All right. So that tells me. We need to drop more rare crystal production and let's might as well do it over here. Bureaucratic center. God, it's kicking out 198 food. Holy crap. Uh, what are we lagging on here? Definitely just rare crystals. Let's get that one up and then we'll kind of go from there. Being that they are equivalent, we are going to have to... We could do a War of Humiliation. We're already done gathering intel. Oh, we are. Hmm. Let's keep gathering information here. That's fine. That's fine. The more intel we can get, the better. Here we go. Joint to Expeditionary Fleet. 20k. It's the Federation Fleet. Uh, ooh, the <laughs> glorious massacre for someone whose name is the Star Church. Okay, sure. Yeah, and unfortunately, unfortunately, we don't have any intel on it. Man, we're just burning through that research now. Uh, gateway activation. Gateway travel. We've got a couple of those, don't we? Uh, we've got an Elgate there. Uh, maybe we don't. I thought we had one of those. Hmm. You know what? We'll go ahead and grab it, because I think... 20, mm, mm, 53 months. Nope. Let's see, I think that leads us into the ability to build our own gateways. Um, but we're just going to sit tight on that for a minute. Defense grid supercomputers. Sapient combat AI. 
have you down here was I going to build I was probably gonna build a habitat lacking the alloys okay cool oh that's gonna be fine well nah it's gonna be eh, it's gonna be all right all right industrial world I'm gonna replace you with a mining district actually you oh wow upgrade that capital we have not upgraded or increased our research output in quite quite a while An upgrade here when the population reaches 10. yeah we've kind of gotten away from that haven't we we'll drop one there yeah we just we got to get more research going all right so we're gonna finish off the domination tree and that gives us another ascension perk now we definitely want to work into Galactic Wonders and Master Builders like we've talked about. Um, but we do have to get text to do that. So we do need to remember that. Let's let's not show what's not available. Okay, so. We can become the Crisis. No, I talked about this a few episodes ago as to what we should grab. And I don't remember. Galactic Force Projection would not be a bad idea. Galactic Contender wouldn't either. Let's see. We will have three left after this. Which leaves room for yep, Master Builders and Galactic Wonders. And then either potentially Colossus Project. Or we could become the Crisis. But yeah, I think we need to take Galactic Force Projection. And we need to build our fleet out more. Uh, so you... Couple more of you. Couple more of you. That. Uh, why are you... that for you we'll let the game run while we're doing this because there's no point in having it paused uh let's get like 10 of you there's a 13 there um get some oh, we could really build you out oh boy let's get more point defense destroyers yeah that'll be good okay and let's save up ourselves some alloys and we will go from there. All right, Arbor Torpedoes is done. Metallurgist output plus 10%. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. So, yeah, we really ought to get our tech rolling a little bit more. So, what I think we're going to do. Uh, you. We're gonna build a habitat. Um, and we're gonna turn it into a research. Like, purely a... Let's kick out a shitload of research. Station. Um. Now, I believe... If we were to put it over a world that has... Any sort of... You know what? Screw it. We just need to get it going. Um, do that there. Why is your trade not getting picked up? Hmm. Yeah, I've only got the one trade up. That's not ideal. Not ideal at all. Oh well. It's just trade. 
not too terribly worried about it. Deskin Authority has declared war on the Geroid Principality. Now, does that mean these guys have been pulled into a war? It does. It does, it does, it does. And there goes one of their fleets. I don't know how they're considered equivalent to us. If that's all they've got. Quite well, understand that, unless we, we still don't see one or two of their fleets. Alright, gene modding, done. Building slots plus one. I kind of like the influence cost and exhaustion gain reduction. So let's do that. Uh, and then once that's done, we'll we'll claim some systems down here. Yeah, so guys, let me know in the comments. Why do you think it thinks we're equivalent? Upgrade you. Scientists get a trait, good stuff. I'm sorry, what? Wait, what? Oh, that connects to Kiram. Oh, really? Can I go down here? And, okay, so that connects to you. You connect all the friggin' way down there. That is exactly what we are looking for right there. All right, you connect down there. Where do you connect? Ooh, that goes into United Nations of Earth Territory, people. That is what we call an opportunity. Yeah, that connects over here to Taderia. Um, you not get there. Yeah, you must not be able to. All right, that's fine. Um, let's have you come down here and survey that bad boy. Okay, so we've got some opportunities here. Uh, numero uno is that. They are moving their fleets out of their territory. That is going to be a prime, prime opportunity for us to go punch them in the face. Oh, hi. Actually, that's their alloy. Where are you going? I don't know where you're going, but okay. Um... Why do I keep having these upgrades to do? I'm not entirely sure. Let's get you buffed out a little bit more. Yeah, this is a good opportunity. I don't think that we're quite ready yet. Um, I wanted to wait on this. So for some reason that has jumped up to 27 months. Um, so you know what? We may just go for it. Although I don't like how close to our territory you are. They happen to go through here to... Let's see, they... Oh no, they are at war. Oh, okay. So yeah, they're not actually going to be going too far. Because they're going to be hitting the Ud Kavongo High Kingdom. Ooh, look at that station do work. Look at all those strike craft. Holy crap. Oh, I want to go punch him in the face so badly.
We've got almost 100k worth. So we might be right at 100k worth of fleet power. Um, let's move him down at the very least. We've got a couple battleships in here. I think there's more coming off the line. Yeah, a couple battleships probably headed to that fleet. All right, edicts have expired, which right, that's partially why we were so high up in fleet power. So we'll let those we'll let those expire for now. Uh, a psionic entity, the CNS Remembrance, has encountered a massive beam of pure energy in the Kerim system, a, a veritable vortex of psionic forces. This entity should only be approached with the utmost caution. Definitely, the Kirim system itself seems to be entirely devoid of any connection to the subspace hyperlane network. Whether this entity's presence has severed the system's hyperlane connections or unexpected subspace fluctuations, trapped it here is unknown. Now, that resolution we voted on earlier, which was the minor economic, sa economic sanctions, did not pass. Headed down. I would bet... Yeah, you're headed up that way. Mm-hmm. Ah, we're, we're just not quick enough. Oh, look at you, Udkavongo High Kingdom, taking some systems. Ah, uh, you're about to get punched in the face, but you know. Man, you, you kind of did it. Good for you. Their fleet's gonna come get you, but, you know, whatever. I need you to chill. Just chill. You. Alright, so, if we're gonna do this thing, it can come at us through over here. You have. Um, let's also upgrade your defensive stations. Let's go. Get a couple more in. Ships refitted. That should help out a little bit. Um, let's check that design out real quick. Missiles, hangers, large. Yeah, I think. Ships refitted. I think that's okay. Maybe we want to go armor torpedoes. Science division report success. We actually might want to up these to mediums. And you know what? Fine. It'll be fine. All right, sapient combat AI is done. Uh, meaning we could have, you know, upgraded. Upgrade our ships. All right, planetary shield generator, meh. Physical research. Let's get the zero point reactors. Uh, let's hop into our ship designer. I think we're good to go here. Yep, we are. Science division. All right, so they could go up there. Uh, this should stop them from really doing anything else. Man, Shatter Effect on a plus 10% fire rate. Communications jammer. We'll leave that open for now. Alright. Metallurgist output. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, uh, that's still 52 months. Um, and eh, we'll cycle the Ripper auto cannons. Food is slowly but surely starting to dip. Oh, did I? Mm-hmm. Nope. Fleet manager. Yeah. Science division. All right, boys, go upgrade. Sent you all the way down there, and now you gotta go all the way back. All right, maxed out on food. That's fine. Oh, something that I meant to do and completely forgot to do it. Um, we need to terraform this into continental.
get them going simultaneously. And then we're also going to come in here to our edicts. Uh, and we are going to run terraforming gases. And that should... Cancel you and do that. No. Yeah, that must have already been... Ah, so that's displaying 3,500. But the tooltip is saying 2,300. Interesting. Okay. Council election imminent. We're slowly but surely, I think, creeping up there. Slowly but surely. There's the claim influence cost. Okay, we can start making those claims. Let's pause for a moment here. Let's grab a little bit of extra diplomatic weight. Because as we try to take over the Senate, that is going to become more and more important. Uh, we'll let the game run so we can go get those ships upgraded. Uh, and let's come down here. And make some claims. If we're going to go to war with them, we might as well walk out with something. Um... Grab you, that's 299. We've still got a bunch of influence left. Pick that off, we cut their empire in half. Oh, it's just more points that we have to defend. You know what? Let's do this. Let's grab that one. I guess you. Ships refitted. We could grab this whole. Okay, we couldn't grab the whole thing. Uh, we're short twenty-three. All right. Oh yeah, let's. Let's do this. Let's leave that and let's take that. Let's just chunk this whole half off of their empire. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Start a new tree. I guess we'll go into harmony. Sure, that's fine. Slaves up the wazoo. Uh, diplomatic weight is plus 10. Let's get a little bit of Starbase cap going. I think we're going to need it. You food's maxed out, so might as well go to the market. Uh, and go ahead and... Nope, not buy. Sell! Sell, sell, sell. Alright, Ripper Auto Cannons, which we're really not going to do anything with. Uh, planetary build speed, cruiser hull points. Impulse thrusters. Well, if there's one thing we've learned, if the, if those humans are in demand. You good to go? 37, 29, 34. All right. Let's get down here. Um, We're going to take advantage. How are you guys doing? 34, 38. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's get down there. We're going to try to chunk this bit off from them. Um, I don't know where their capital is. That might be their capital. Uh, let's see. Asteroid station. Yeah, I think that's their capital over there. Five. 68. Actually, that's maybe their capital. I don't know. Either way, we're really going to chunk them out of this. Um, They're all going to be uh, what? Dang, what is it? Dentured servants. So hopefully they're not too pissed. 
Uh, that is a little bit of territory we're going to have to grab. And that is a little bit of territory that we're going to have to maintain. Um, unfortunately. But we are going to kick the war off at the start of the next episode. Uh, a lot of planetary work it looks like I need to do, but I'll do that in between episodes. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. As always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Stellaris and sci-fi gaming fun. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Later, everybody.